Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Alright. Let's go see uh, how we handle the rest of this place. Alright, let's go. Only other path we have not taken yet. Well. The only way we haven't covered yet. So, alright, there's a set of stairs, so let's go deeper. Oh boy, so, yeah. A <laughs> bit of a labyrinth here, so let's, uh, there is some treasure on this floor, so let's go grab it. Excuse me, uh, that. Thank you. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything new to run into on this floor, so, yeah. Alright, where do we go? We go south. Oh, yeah, forgot we're poison. Ran into a bunch of asps there, so. Alright. I just see some they need to be healed as well. Uh. No, we're sitting alright. Let's keep going. Alright, as soon as we step forward, uh, there's gonna be another Earth, so I'll take care of it and be right back. Good news and bad news. Good news is we reached level 12. And the bad news, as you can see there, yeah, <laughs> Mark got hit pretty hard there. It was a crit of 184, so... Oh! Yeah, it was a... Uh, that one smarts. <laughs> Alright, and... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hold on to John's spells there. So we're dipping into heals again. Uh, yeah, look. Matt can take one more, and John's sitting all right. All right, so yeah, level 12. Nice. All right. All right, no, that was not two fixed encounters. That's just where the RNG put it. All right, let's get Mark back up again. Yeah, okay. Just another group of asps there, so. Ah. <sighs> Much more easier to manage than the Earth is, anyway. As long as we got pures, anyway. All right, so we got 575 gold. None of these chests are guarded, uh, but the uh, at the expense of having that exit guarded. So yeah, wooden shield and 5,000 gold. Nice. How are we doing on gold? Yeah, we're almost halfway to where we want to be. Uh, <sighs> Cave of the Ochi, indeed. <laughs> All right, and Matt, and we're sitting all right. all right. Let's go. Still one more room we can locate. Well, there's that group of eight gargoyles, uh, and yeah, yeah, I used a, one of the ice spells to soften them up there, so yeah. All right, took a few of them out in the process. Yeah. Excuse me, Matt. Alright, let's see what's in here. Get the Coral Sword. This is actually better than the Dragon Sword, slightly. <laughs> Alright, let's go there. And move this up. And I think... Go. Alright. I believe the stats of the Coral Sword are the same as the Dragon Sword, but again, crit rate, you know. Alright, got a cabin. And 330 gil. Nice. Take all the gil, please. I keep calling it gil. <laughs> it's not gil. Well, not in this version of the game, anyway. But, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, Matt. Okay. Gonna... Don't need to, but, you know. Routine. Alright, there's the stairs. Let's see if we can't get there. Ah, uh, here we go. I'll give it two ways it can go once it gets out of there. <laughs> Alright, there's a room right there. Just a bunch of werewolves and grey wolves there. Nobody got poisoned, but I do want to mention one thing. One warning about this floor. This floor contains the very first monster that can actually petrify us, so that's why we've got the ten softs, just in case we get into some trouble, so... Yeah, just a heads up. 
And I actually... Unless we... Um, get into a, a you know, chance to first strike for a situation like where we get the first strike, I will likely run from the battle every time. So, yeah. But here's another new enemy, the Spectres. Spectres have 52 HP, 40 attack, 12 defense, 23 magic defense, weak to fire and harm, as usual. Physical attack can paralyze you, but yeah, these ones actually do not hit more than once, so they are definitely the, the lesser of the... Uh, the lesser threat of the two here, so between the geist and the specters there. So let's uh, let's do this, do this, and I'm actually going to use a harm two spell because we still want to hold on to the ruse spells. Yeah, yeah, it's the ruse spells I was staying away from the cure spells on John for, and that's why I used harm two. <laughs> yeah, the serious threat of getting everybody paralyzed. Right, and there we go. Ooh, treasure. Tent. Right. Oh, cool. No uh, encounter. Nice. Free treasure. Free tent. I was about to say, anybody need to be healed? I say, no. Oh, yeah. You can actually run into the wizards on this floor, too. And the reason why I'm... Well, one, they, two reasons really I'm bringing that up. One, they obviously they can still hit pretty hard, but two, they are classed as a boss type creature. In other words, you cannot run from the battle, no matter what. Uh, so yeah, I used a uh, lit two spell there because there was three of them. But yeah, so again, that's pretty much why I'm holding on to those. So yeah, um, yeah. So if you get into into the wizards, don't bother wasting your time trying to run because you will not be able to. So yeah, so I'd uh, warn you about that. All right, and John can take one. And that's about it. All right. Wait. No, it looks like Luke. Uh, yeah, Luke can take one as well. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're past halfway for the forty-five grand. So let's uh, keep searching. For more gold. Yeah, more gold. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I was catching myself saying Gil again. Alright, that was a, a group of werewolves there. <laughs> Three of us got poisoned, but fortunately we were able to uh, get the opportunity to remove the uh, poison before the end of the battle there. So, yeah. Alright. What's in here? Another Earth. All right. And got a heal potion. Nice, because we're going to need it. <laughs> All right. Let's loop back up. Um, that's fine. John can use a couple. And there we go. How are we? Yeah. So still ways. Uh, I got it right. Yeah, okay. I think you probably could have gotten it from the side, but... Another group of eight Geist Inspectors there, and yeah, definitely use the uh, Harm 2 spell again. Alright. <laughs> they were taking some shots at John there, fortunately. Uh, he didn't get paralyzed, so yeah. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, another trash chest. Had to be wizards. But... We managed. Oh, that's it. Alright, wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Alright. All right, another Earth there, and 3,400 gold. Hope we've got enough heals. All right. I did grab it, right? All right, just making sure. Don't want to have to come back. Which way are you going? Going that way? All right. Lead the way. Hanging out with your friend there, I guess. <laughs> the bats could have friends. Uh, the chest to the no the room to the north has nothing in it, so don't bother. All right, uh, let's give one to Luke, and that's it. All right, just a, a four green ogres there.
Alright, guess what? There's an Earth here, so let's fight it. Yeah, I forgot to draw attention to the fact that Luke has the Dragon Sword equipped. And for those that are unfamiliar with this game, uh, yeah, the, the Dragon Sword is has a green blade on it, and it very much looks like a lightsaber in battle, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We got that going for it. Unintentional Star Wars references, I'm sure, from the very beginning in, fi in uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, I did grab it. Okay, just my answer. <laughs> don't have to fight the Earth again if I don't have to. I've got one Rue spell left. I'm gonna hold on to that for the vampire, should we ever find him. I think we found him. Alright! We made it. Let's uh, heal up. Sounds like this is the big bad, so yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we got as far as spells go? So, it's probably gonna weak to fire, but yeah. Kinda wanna hold on to those for any wizards for the trip out. Uh, and John. Oh, he's got a level 5 uh, spell charge, nice. Alright, so I guess probably be using the ruse spell in this fight, maybe. Yeah, probably. Uh, either that or the harm spell. I don't know. I'll figure out once we get in there. Alright. Excuse me, sir. I hear you're causing some problems from Melmond and beyond. All living things were born to die. No one can defeat me, the vampire. Alright, well, that was a quick chat. The vampire has 156 HP. It can do as an attack of 152. Cause this, so this guy can... Pretty much one shot himself if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, with a crit. But, anyways, uh, 24 defense, 38 magic defense, weak to fire and harm, as you might be able to guess. Immune to pretty much, or resistant to pretty much everything else. And his physical, he can paralyze you. I'm not, I don't think it's a physical attack. I think it's actually just uh, straight up his gaze. So, yeah. Alright, let's, uh, do we want to use a spell? Yeah, you know what? Ah, right, we'll probably be fine. You know what? Uh, 152 attack. Let's do it. Come on. We got this. And down goes the vampire. Melmond has been saved. Huzzah! Oh, what's this? Reward? Hey, we got a ruby. Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess. Could probably use this to get through the Titan's Tunnel there, and, uh... Well, we took care of the vampire, and I guess... Yeah, sure, I guess we can go talk to Serta. I guess maybe he's got uh, a clue on what we can do next. Alright, let's get out of here. Didn't see any room in there, so no need to go check out that other door. Alright, somebody got poisoned. Ah, it's nice to see that we've uh, still got a healthy stock of items for the trek back out. So that's, uh, that's a load off the, mi off the mind. Peace of mind. Just gotta make it out. And here are the uh, cockatrices. 50 HP each, 2 attack, 4 defense, 24 magic defense, resistant to earth, not weak to anything. And these indeed are the creatures that can petrify you. Now, how I, as you can see, I did not get the preemptive strike, so I'm actually going to send 3 of them at them. Basically trying to reduce their ability to petrify us as John tries to run. There goes Mark. <laughs> Come on. Somebody kill something. Please. Alright, good job, Matt. Uh, yeah, you guys go after that. John, try again. Come on, John. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, that's a clench every time uh, he goes after John. After anybody, really. Uh, yeah, the other two run. Alright, we made it. 
The only casualty being Mark. Alright. Use the soft to get him back. And we can continue on our way. Poison off there, but you know, one left over. Oh, <laughs> just need to heal up. Uh, okay, Mark, Luke, and John. Let's keep going. Okay, I was gonna say, don't you dare go down the hallway. <laughs> couple of images there so, yeah. all right uh on that floor as well uh there was a creature is the rarest encounter you can get there called an ooze it's basically the same uh type of creature as like the mucks and the scums uh but it's got the weaknesses of the scum but it's got the uh you know it doesn't have a perfect uh defense so you can just pretty much take them out normally so yeah don't think they poison you either so yeah, yeah let's get out of here so yeah, they're weak to fire and ice. That's why I don't do the dance <laughs> with them anytime they get in the way, you know. Another group of eight gargoyles there. I launched the uh, last Ice 2 spell at them, so yeah. Don't have any more of them, so hopefully don't run into too many more gargoyles. Alright, and we're back up here. Don't quite feel as safe as one might expect when they reach the uh, top floor of a place they're trying to get out of. <laughs> Alright, and we made it out all in one piece. Well, Mark had a overdose of a calcium in his diet there for a little bit, but uh, we got him out of there with some... Uh, <laughs> Softs. All right. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's. Don't have any more heal. Uh, that stuff. All right. Let's just use. Yeah, let's use the cabin. And we'll use a tent as well. Just to make sure we're all set. All right. So we got two harm, two spells left. So yeah, let's. Yeah, I think we're a little low on uh, re reserves here. So, well. You know what? Yeah, wisdom would suggest it'd probably be a wise idea to head back to town, so let's head back to town first. Alright, yeah, still gotta be careful of all those undead you can run into here. If you run into a lot, just as I was about to talk about it, I nearly succumbed to it, yeah. <laughs> if you run into a lot of undead, like the geists and ghouls, um, and you don't have any harm spells left, try to run. Um... I mean, obviously, there is the, the chance that you could get stun locked to death, uh, but we did just save it, so yeah, just try again, I guess. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got level 13 at the end of that battle, so yeah, it looks like Mark is on his way to getting his third hit there, and there is everybody else. All right, let's, uh, uh how does healing look? You know, we could probably get away with, with using a tent here. I won't save it or anything like that, just uh, using it for the heal. Alright, let's keep going. Got one more harm to spell left. Well, there goes that harm to spell. <laughs> Alright, we made it back. Alright, how are we? So we've got we're just shy of $45,000, but we can sell the wear sword. Anything else? We can sell the wooden shield. Now let's see what happens. And we do still need the hundred gold for the inn, so... Uh, no, we're gonna end up at the armor shop, so... Let's see. What happens with me? Uh, it's the weir sword, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. Six grand, and there we go. We've got enough money for the inn stay. Now, if you are just shy of it, because after many pl multiple playthroughs up to this point through the Earth Cave and all that kind of stuff, it is 
pretty consistent that you should you should be able to easily end up should be able to end up around at least around forty five thousand gold. Um, if you are short at all, if I was short at all, I would not have hesitated to sell the power uh, the the power staff in favor of the silver hammer here, uh, because yeah, you can get six grand out of that. So yeah. So yeah, if you've run into that situation, maybe consider selling the power staff. Um, but if you're not too sure about it, uh, well, I guess we can wait a little bit for it. I mean, it's not like we're going to need it next episode anyway, so, but I've got the money for it, so I'll buy it. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, let's buy it. 45,000 gold. Sorry, John. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So we're at 44.36. And take see what it does to his evasion. 54.26. So, yeah. Plus 10 absorb, minus 10 evasion. So, yeah. All right, let's uh, sell the wooden shield and iron armor. Uh... I forgot the wooden shield was that little. Uh, and the iron armor, and oh, there we go. Alright, so we have achieved our goal of getting the steel armor. We got that ruby, and we did, well, we were made aware of a, a sage by the name of Sarda uh, that we were unable to get to last time, so, well, we took care of the vampire, and I'm sure it'll probably take a little time for the, the earth to start healing, and, uh, Melman to come back to life, so I'm not expecting the people to really uh, notice any change in the uh, the scenery for the time being. But uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. But in any case, we're kind of I don't know, kind of at a loss of it. I think we might yeah do have a clue about what we might be able to do next. But I feel like we want to go speak to Sarda anyway, just to uh, you know see if. Uh, Wait a minute. Hmm. That's eh, probably nothing. <laughs> All right. So yeah, notice that the, uh, the 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 rocks we're carrying didn't exactly gain any luster from that. So yeah, that's eh, probably nothing. But yeah, we'll head down to speak to Sarda, see if he has any ideas of, uh, about what, what we should do next and where we should go. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll go talk to him next time and uh, get that direction. This is Intrepid83 signing off. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way. It really helps support the series and the channel here, and I humbly thank you for your support in that manner. And uh, if you have not subscribed yet, why not head on over to the channel, see if there's anything there that can potentially earn your subscription. And if it does, and if you have subscribed, thank you so very much for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. But in any case, and until next time, thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for spending some of your time here today. Take care, be blessed. Have a good one.